beautiful people welcome back to another vlog today we are doing a little cozy day in the life it is Monday December 5th we are entering my last week of classes technically last day because I don't have classes on Monday and then my classes technically end on Wednesday and I just have a presentation on Wednesday so tomorrow is really just my last day of classes it really is just exam prep study season and it's like cold out it's like beautiful and sunny but like minus two chilly and cozy and like starting to get into the Christmassy mood more and more I am feeling it a little bit this morning with my green sweatsuit but I just made breakfast I just made a little bowl of oats with frozen fruit pumpkin seeds a little bit of chocolate chips and then almond butter as well as like protein powder and chia seeds were already mixed in and then i made my little candy cane mocha this morning this was my first time making this i just bought that little silk mocha creamer thing and it is so good oh my goodness so i just like mixed a little bit of that in with my almond milk and then topped it with a little bit of candy cane pieces also this is my only festive mug it just says the most wonderful time of the year it is very cute, but really big, like a lot bigger than my standard mugs that I use. So whenever I make a coffee, I only do like three quarters of the way full. Also, if you've been keeping up with Instagram, you know that I have been doing the David's Tea Advent Calendar, but sometimes the tea is just not strong enough and a lot of them are actually like decaf or like herbal teas. So today's was a herbal tea, which I think it's super cute, um, but today's tea was called Headache Halo. So it is a totally caffeine-free tea. So I think I'm gonna save that for tonight because today is a long study day and definitely called for a nice warm cup of coffee this morning. But I'm gonna eat my breakfast, drink my coffee, get back to doing some work, and then the plan is to head to the gym this morning, probably around 9, 9.30, after like I've eaten and my food is like settled a little bit. And then I might head out to either campus or a coffee shop to work today because I just know it's gonna be a long study day, and on long study days, I like to like break up my study space between like campus just get out of the house for a little bit and then come back and hopefully get enough work done that i can kind of have like a chill sort of evening yeah that's kind of the plan i think so i 
am really just feeling the Christmas greens today. Today's workout set is also green and I'm ready to go, but let's go ahead to do a workout. I had my shower, washed my hair, did my makeup and got all ready for the day. So I'm about to head out, but I wanted to share with you guys some of my new daily essential jewelry pieces from Astrid and Mew. And Astrid and Mew are sponsoring today's video. So a big thank you to them for partnering with me today. Astrid and Mew is a jewelry brand based in London and they really focus in on individuality and expressing yourself through jewelry. So someone who loves her like simple, minimal pieces, each of these pieces kind of have like a little something extra extra to them, which you will see, but I am obsessed and have been wearing all of them daily. And they currently have their five days of Christmas sale on where they have a new sale every day. So today's sale is 20% off initials, birthstones, and zodiacs. But right now the pieces that I have been loving, first of all, are these two rings. So I have just this really simple one, just a gold kind of thick a thick gold simple band and then this one which has some gems all in it it's just really simple you guys know me I love my simple minimal pieces and then these earrings are so fun they are kind of like a molten like twisty shape they are really cute and then also I have been loving this little hoop bracelet this little loop bracelet it's just got these two simple little loops attached there really simple i love and then i also have recently been loving pairing it with this little ear cuff because like they match and they're the same and then i'm not wearing any necklaces today just because typically with a turtleneck i don't but i have been loving their orbit necklace which just has these three little stars it is so pretty very minimal dainty girly but like so, so pretty, love the little details. And then the last piece that I've been loving are these little huggy hoop earrings. So they just look like this. Really simple, minimal, little gold huggy hoops. I am such a sucker for a good statement, simple gold, like chunky little hoop. Like they're almost the same size as the ones that I'm wearing right now, but obviously these ones are like the more molded ones, so they're a little bit more of a feature earring, I feel like, for me. Again, a big thank you to Astrid and Mew for sponsoring today's video. All of the links to all the pieces that I got will be down in the description box below, and be sure to check out the next two days of their sale as well, because there will be different sales, as I mentioned, every day, and then today's is 20% off birthstones, initials, and zodiacs but I am about to head out to go study. Just have to grab my things and put it in a bag and heading somewhere on campus, I haven't decided yet. I'm just gonna walk until I decide on a library to go study at.
All right, for lunch, we just have a bio raw bowl today, which is the Fiesta one, I think, or yeah, something like that. All right, you guys, I just got home. It is currently just past four o'clock. The first thing I'm gonna get on is a simmer pot, but it's four o'clock and it's already like dark. So I'm probably gonna have to turn on some lights as well. I always wait until like the very last moment to turn on artificial lights. I like try and like drain out the last of the <laughs> natural light. But like I said, simmer pot for humidity because my building doesn't have like a humidifier and Toronto winters are really, really dry. Like my skin has been flaking. It's awful and we're gonna put on a pot on the stove with like some cinnamon, lemon, cranberries and stuff and just make the house smell nice besides humidity. That's what we're gonna do right now. And then I also wanna switch the sheets on my bed over to my Christmas sheets just to get a little bit more festive. It's like my last thing that I have to do for my festivities, I guess. <laughs> got these flannel sheets as a Christmas gift I think two years ago now and they are my favorite thing they just have the cutest little like minimal ski print so it's cute for like winter and Christmas and I really only use flannel sheets when it's cold in the winter anyways because any other time they're way too hot but I love just being able to put these on because it makes my room feel a little bit more Christmassy because I don't obviously have any decor in here but this just makes me feel kind of cute and festive For dinner tonight, I am gonna kind of make like a stew situation, kind of. I just have a giant can of tomato sauce left over. My cousin came over a few nights ago and we did homemade pizzas. And so obviously I didn't use that much sauce, so I've just had a can, giant can of sauce left. And I don't really want pasta, so we're just gonna make a stew. Chicken, tomatoes, mushrooms, broccoli, whatever else I can find in my fridge, peppers that make sense to go in a stew. That's what we're gonna do. Here's my little chicken tomato stew situation. It actually turned out really, really well and it will probably be good over some rice or noodles or something later. Just, I'm not feeling it tonight. So this is dinner. All right, you guys, I just got off a much longer than anticipated FaceTime call with Alan. So what I'm gonna do, it's currently 8.30. I'm going to kind of finish up cleaning up my kitchen from dinner and then move my studying over to the couch because I'm really just doing laptop work and finishing up some final assignments and I would rather be comfortable studying and working on my couch.
reading but just winding down before bed but i don't think i've talked to you guys since i started reading this book so i'm currently reading the meaning of marriage by tim keller um alan read this or like read most of it in the summer and when i was over at his place a few weeks ago i saw it and decided to pick it up read the first chapter and was like you know what i'm gonna take this home and read it so i have been reading it i am about halfway through um kind of halfway i'm like around page 130 and i think it's around 300 pages it's like almost halfway through and yeah i have been loving it it's just so insightful and has so much wisdom like it's insane so the little tagline underneath because i didn't read that out but it's facing the complexities of commitment with the wisdom of god so he just references a lot of like scripture passages as well as a lot of c.s lewis and pulls from other biblical sources as well and it's just been a great read i think too as like alan and i are kind of working further towards like getting married in God's time and like just kind of looking at what a marriage will look like for both of us. I feel like this isn't something that I talk about just because I never really bring up like our relationship on the channel and stuff because he doesn't love being in vlogs and like that's such a private part of my life that I do tend to like to keep a little bit more private but like also you guys are so involved in my life like I feel like I need to chat about it sometimes. That has just been what's going on recently and I know you guys are probably like, Vanessa, you're literally 21, you're not even 22, but I need y'all to remember I have been with this man since I was 14. We have been together for seven years and so like, we are just kind of getting ready for our next chapter and which is really exciting. But yeah, I thought I'd chat just a little bit about that tonight. So I'm gonna read probably like 10 to 15 pages, maybe like a sub chapter of this and then call it a night because this is always like my favorite way to wind down and also I just love reading before bed you guys know this but I'm gonna end off the video here so I hope you guys enjoyed this cozy study Christmassy holiday day in my life and I will see you guys all in the next video I love you so much bye